Hey buddy, John Villarreal here, and I'm here with my new Asics Gel Venture 9s. Very excited about this. Can't wait to try these on. I'm wearing right now my Asics Gel Venture 8s right here. These are the last pair that I got. So I'm gonna do a little bit, little bit of a comparison here. Okay, I just put on the Gel Venture 9 and I have the Gel Venture 8 over here. Now, not a totally fair comparison. First of all, I paid with both these shoes with my own money. This video is not sponsored by Asics and this is my true, honest opinions. I guess our true, honest opinions. This is Janair. She wants to be in the video too. I've had these shoes for a while, so a little bit worn, maybe about six months. Uh, plus or minus somewhere around there, but these are obviously brand new. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a walking test outside. This seems to have much more cushioning here on the tongue and also over here on the back. So it definitely gives me a different feel. Let's walk out here and see how we feel about it. Okay, you ready, Janair? Let's try it again on your count. One, two, three. There we go. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Now again, it may be that I've worn this for a little bit. These seem a lot more form-fitting to my fit than my eights. And, and obviously, this has more cushioning. So I would say we'll do some more comparisons inside, but this initial reaction to me, the nine is definitely an improvement. I'm a big fan of the Gel Venture eights, these Gel, and the Gel Venture series. These Gel Venture nines are definitely next level. So to wrap up, the Asics Gel Venture eight versus the Asics Gel Venture nine. Now, to me, I really like the nine. The eights are very, very good, but I like the nine. I'm gonna tell you why, there's a number of reasons. First of all, on the laces, I think it's really close. It may be similar, but I perceive, maybe it's just that these are worn, I perceive this is a little bit better on, on the nines, but let, let's assume they're gonna be pretty similar. But here, I can tell immediately, like this is more pumped up on the tongue okay, than the eights. This is also more substantial. It's still movable and breathable, but it's more substantial. So I like that. I can also tell that you've got more material here. In, it feels that way in the midsole. And I really, really love this tread. I felt this outside. Just very, very grippy, more pronounced. It helped with the range of surfaces. surfaces. And it's just, to me, it's just stronger. It's better. It also feels a little bit lighter. I'll have to confirm that. I'm not alleging anything. To me, I really like the Asics Gel Venture 6. Wasn't so happy with the Asics Gel Venture 7 in comparison to the 6. I like the 6 better than the 7, but I like the 8s better than I like the 6. But this 9, in my mind, is the new champion. It looks good. It seems strong. It seems durable. It really kind of fits that trail running purpose of multi-surface, a running shoe, I was running, well, I was kind of jogging in it, you know, um, but it definitely felt stable, it felt good in the gym, I like this. So the bottom line for me is, I'm gonna choose the Asics Gel Venture 9 over the Asics Gel Venture 8. On a one to 10, I'm gonna give this a 9.5. It's an early review, that can go up a little bit, could go down a little bit. I need to be with this long term, but I really, really like this, extremely impressed. Great job on Asics uh, doing this, so. I'm John D. Villarreal. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Also remember, if you like this video, please rate this video up. Please post it on your social networking sites and please turn on the notifications. Also, I'll have a link in the video description on YouTube where you can order the A6 Gel Venture 8 and the A6 Gel Venture 9. If you do order through that link, it will benefit me. Please look at all the important disclaimers down there and I thank you so much for your support. Thanks so much for watching. I'm John D. Villarreal. I'll see you next time.